Hi there, here I am with uh, ArcGIS uh, 10.5 ArcMap uh, and I'm going to just do a little bit more on the model builder. Uh, what, I'd like, what I'm going to do is open a previous model that I've uh, built, my analysis model there. Right hand click on the toolbox and go to edit. And here is uh, a model from the previous exercise that I did. Uh, now what, what this one did was take a capitals table, that's some OpenStreetMap data. Uh, buffer it all, take a polygon, that's what that demo is, it's that uh, purple polygon there. Uh, see if there's an intersection between these buffers of capitals and create a intersection object. I also did a bit of statistics at the end and actually I won't bother with with that. So, but what I, what I want to do here is say, well, when I, when I do this, um, well, when I, if I run it now, it goes red with the intersect. So it's all run and done and dusted. Let's press close, look at it. But you see how I've got all these buffers, all these circles uh, for each one of these green symbols, i.e. each one of these capitals. Uh, so it went and, uh, and drew a buffer around the whole table, really, for each each feature. So that's quite a, uh, quite a few, really. Uh, and what, I don't want to do that. What, I'm, I'm only interested in a particular capital. So what I'm going to show here is the select statement, how to pick off uh, a particular feature based on an attribute and then pass that one onto the next process, onto the process of uh, the buffer toolbox. So you, you do this uh, in the toolbox by just taking the select tool. So I drag the select tool on here. I'll, I, this connection I've got here, I'll just click and press delete. So of course it hollows all this slot out and breaks it all effectively. And I'll use the connector and put capitals into, as an input feature, into this select statement. And the result from the capital select I'll put into the buffer as the input. So now it's all coloured in and it's all um, fine. So I'll just do an auto layout and it just sort of sorts it out a bit better. So the rest of it is still there, the demo, the intersect, the polygon, all that stuff. Um, but it, I've introduced this select statement. If we just double click on that we can put in what select we want to do. Well, I want to say uh, with a name is equal to, let's just get all the unique values. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll do credit here to uh, OSM. This is their, uh, that data. Uh, name is equal to Dublin. Press OK uh, and press OK. So now what, what I've got here is a select statement that will pick out the Dublin record, the capital and then go through the process with that. So I can hit the validate statement. It's all good. It's all, all filled in with, with a color. Um, hits the red select there. Then it will, um, so it picks out the Dublin record. Then it does the buffer on that. Then it does the inset and off we go. Now this is a, uh, a new buffer. So that capital buffer is what happened before, which is in the personal geo database. And this capital select buffer, uh, which is that one, is the buffer that worked just on the select statement, i.e. the um, Dublin uh, capital. So you can see I now have a, a buffer table only of, of those. So, but we could make it a bit sort of clearer. I could go into this output feature. And because I know it's... Uh, Dublin. I can just re rename this. Say Dublin buffer. That's because I know it's Dublin. I press run. Runs it all. And it hits the buffer, does the inset. And now you can see it's got a, a, a sort of more meaningful name there. Uh, a Dublin buffer. So let me just uh, get rid of all these for the moment. What, what, what I'd, finally, this. So that's that's the select statement. You can you can uh, uh, just edit that as normal, and you've got a location. Um, it's um, a, a, it's a select by attribute, uh, effectively picking off from this menu. Uh, and indeed, we could run a select by location, which I'll, I'll be doing in a in a different uh, video. So we're effectively doing a select by attribute. That's that's what's going on here. But I think what I do is I'm going to change that name of Dublin Buffer back to sort of answers, something like that, answer buffer. 
so, so I call it that. But what I, what I want to do is prompt the user. So we're going to go back to parameters here. What I, uh, again, I showed in a different uh, demo, but I, but I thought it was worth just, just doing that again to show you what happens here. So for this um, select statement, I'm going to prompt. I'm going to create an expression parameter. So I'll be prompting the user. So I'm going to make a variable. There's the expression variable. If I double click on it, it's defaulted to what I had before. So it's a good way to have an example in there to show your user. But then I say that's a model parameter for the whole model. So a P comes up. So let's just say the model for a second. Now when I press uh, run, you can, um, sorry. If I press run now, what it's done is just run the Dublin uh, query again because that because don't forget a parameter uh, input uh, where you get where the user is prompted is not displayed in the model uh, window the model builder window it does not display these dialogues so it's called my analysis model let's just press save so now in the toolbox if I go to my analysis model here if I now run this from there I double click run my analysis model and up pops the expression because outside in our map, outside the model builder, model builder, the um, these uh, um, parameters and input dialog boxes they all work. So here I can go to that, or indeed change the expression to whatever I want. Just press OK and run again. It does the same thing, and I mean it's left as uh, doubling again anyway. And there we go. That is uh, just a couple, uh, couple of new things there, and uh, I hope that's useful. Thank you.